Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be really, really fun and hopefully motivational. I was looking for um, sensory play activities for Ken to do other than just being on her device, her electronic device and mine. Um, but I follow some really dope ladies on YouTube that I'll link below and I also found some great ideas on Pinterest as well. And I think I'm going to share like four or five with you today that we um just started working on but if you're wondering what sensory play is it's basically what they already do they use their five senses to learn explore and investigate which also helps them develop um like fine motor skills like hand eye coordination and stuff like that all right so enough talking let's get into the activities so with this activity, I basically took some rice and buried some of her letters in it. You could do their favorite toys for your child. But if your child is still young and they are putting stuff in their mouth, be play very close attention to them as they are playing with this. Um, but this helps their cognitive skills for, you know, problem solving and um, critical thinking. And you basically got to dig in and get the letters out Um with your hands and she wasn't comfortable at first but she eventually got real comfortable with touching the rice as you can see um and it's a really easy cleanup you can just sweep, sweep rice right up but um to step it up a notch i got a measuring cup and a bowl and i told her how to put the rice in the measuring cup and put it inside of the bowl and she was good most of the time so the night before I prepared some jello and I put again some of her favorite toys in there as well as these gold coins that I got from the Dollar Tree. Um, I didn't realize that their little figurines would float so I had to go back the next day after the jello had set and push it down further into the jello so she can really get her hands dirty and dig into the jello which she wasn't too fond of to begin with but as you can see by the end of this clip that she got really comfortable with the jello and getting her hands dirty yeah and let me just say don't make the mistake i made by putting this little bib on them i would change her shirt um, if we did this again into a t-shirt or something she don't really wear as often um just because this does get messy Again, you can see she got really really comfortable touching this texture and playing with it um, the gold coins was at the bottom so she had to dig really really deep but then she just started splashing yellow everywhere so that was the end of that so for this activity I already had all of the supplies in my basement and I thought she would use her fingers to paint on the um, construction paper with the washable paint but she was very comfortable with using this sponge and we went over the colors she's still figuring out the color white but she knew the rest of the colors and she barely got dirty Since the Dollar Tree is filled with Easter supplies, I knew I wanted to do something with these eggs. So I just filled them up with different objects, soft objects, hard objects, just stuff I had laying around the house and I taped them on both sides. So when she shook them, it, nothing comes out. Good job. Shake it. You don't hear nothing. It's probably cotton balls in here. Shake yellow. Good 
Good job. Good job, Ken Ken. I also bought some clay dough from the Dollar Tree and I just stuffed the same thing that I stuffed the eggs with. I stuffed the clay dough with so she can like use her fingers to dig and find out what's in the middle of the clay dough. So I stuffed two of the balls of clay with pencil beans and even though I know my child isn't going to eat the pencil beans, I still took them off the tray immediately once she got all of them out of the ball of clay. Once she figured out one had something in the middle, she automatically knew all of them had something in the middle. So she knew to like look for what's in the middle and not just play with the clay. Michaels and got this pack of colored string for four dollars because she knew each of these colors and I cut them up and mixed them up and put them into a bowl and I wanted her to sort them out into its appropriate bowl but yeah we still need to practice this activity what color go good no <laughs> okay this goes in a blue bowl So where you wanna put it? You wanna put it in the green bowl? It goes in the blue bowl. Green. Green, put it in the green bowl. Put it in the green bowl. What's that, yellow? Okay, well that wasn't how the game went. Sometimes you just gotta let them do their own thing. All right, guys, so that's pretty much all the activities we did for today. You don't have to do all these activities in one day. Um, these are just some things that we're about to start uh, doing, so I figured I'd share with you guys. Um, and again, disclaimer, if your kids are still too little and you're putting things in their mouth, um, I just suggest you find maybe find different um, sensory play activities, and there's a lot of them on Pinterest as well. Um, and even, you know, if they are big enough for these activities still supervise them i was standing there the whole time watching her she even had to get um used to some of them i had to show her how to you know do some of these things so don't feel like your child um might not be into the activities because they you know don't look interested to begin with but um yeah they'll get the hang of it and you see we still have one to work on with the strings um but all of these activities probably cost like 10 to 15 dollars and most of them was from the dollar store a lot of them was stuff we already had at home which was like the bowls and the the um arts and crafts stuff um i already had that in the basement um but uh, yeah, the arts and crafts stuff and the like paper clips and the beans like you could just use stuff that you already have in your house to um, you know play play with you use for the activities. But again, if you like these videos, make sure you give this um, a thumbs up and I'll be glad to make more. I know we're going to be doing more water since replay activities. 
um so stay tuned for that as well but thank you guys for watching and make sure you subscribe see you in the next video bye